So today I'm at the RevoPoint booth at DCT Shenzhen 2025. I love RevoPoint. I've used a ton of their scanners and I think you guys have some new stuff to show yeah. today. Yeah. So what products are you guys showcasing today? We demonstrate this time uh, is the tra now our newest optical tracking 3D scanner, TrackAid, and also the newest uh, MetroWide uh, 3D scanner and also now our flagship Morocco 3D scanner. So this is the Morocco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's so special about this scanner? What is different about it versus other scanners? Uh, yes, as you can see, this Morocco is absolutely a standalone 3D scanner. And you don't need any cables and you can process the the, uh, the scanning and to the fusion, the mesh and uh, export wirelessly from only w with these devices. So the Morocco is an all-in-one Android-based 3D scanner. Obviously, RevoPoint makes it, but it is a whole device. It's basically a handheld camera. You can snap individual frames, you can record full frames of a large point cloud, but the biggest thing is that you can actually process that point cloud on the device. If it can process everything on the scanner, how would I export the final scan to uh, the computer? Yes, you can export it wirelessly or via USB cables to a PC and uh, whatever, and, and then you can do whatever you want to do, 3D, 3D printing or reverse engineering. This process is really good for on-the-go 3D scanning because if you're out in public and you want to go on a scanning spree, you can scan sculptures or whatever you're scanning, you can process them right there on the fly. This way you know if the scan is good or if it's bad and needs to be rescanned. Essentially, this means you don't have a laptop and a scanner and a phone. You have everything all in one device. And when you get home, you can just use wireless transmission to send your fully scanned and processed model over to a laptop for final processing. Actually, it can be used at least two hours with fully charged. So it's super fast for the charging. And I think it's super easy for you guys to, to scan all yeah. things without any massive of, of charging. You don't have to worry about the battery. Honestly, two hours of charge and I can just, I don't have to, I can process everything on here. That's like, that's, that's crazy. Having a two hour battery life on a handheld scanner is wonderful because I have scanned using a cable and it is atrocious. It's very difficult, it's very tedious. And when you're out and about scanning on the go, you obviously don't want to be constrained with yet another restriction. Two hours of battery life means you can scan multiple objects from one place to the next without having to stop in between to charge the battery. But what I was most excited about to see in person at the RevoPoint booth was the RevoPoint track kit, which was recently on Kickstarter and raised a whopping $3 million. Thank goodness it was on display. One thing that excited me was the track kit. So the track kit was recently on Kickstarter yeah. and it was a huge success. What is special about the track kit and who is it really geared to and who's the primary focus to purchase that product? As you can see, the uh, track kit 3D scanner is absolutely an optical tracking 3D scanner. So what Sienna means when she says the track kit is an optical scanner is that the actual scanner is enclosed in a full marker casing housing device. The track kit actually scans the location of the 3D scanner. But so, so what you're saying is the track kit doesn't need any markers. So I can yeah. install the track kit, kind of an aerial view. Yeah. And the handheld scanner or what, uh, you know, it yeah. has markers all over it. So the track kit tracks the scanner. So yeah. the, it knows where the scanner is. Yeah, the scanner see the part past itself. Uh, it can locate it. The tracers can locate it, the scanner with itself in real time. That's yeah. crazy. The track kit positions the 3D scanner optically in space so that it helps actually track the object that you're scanning. This means that you don't have to have markers on the object being scanned because the track kit knows when the scanner is like this or when it's rotated like this or like this anywhere in space. So the actual track kit that mounts overhead can see up to four meters in distance. It can track the 3D scanner up to four meters, which means anything that you can fit within a four meter radius can be 3D scanned without markers. Yeah. And so you, earlier you told me the track kit can go extend to four meters. Yeah, up to so four meters. That means with the track kit you can scan some really big objects, yeah, right? Yeah, even though a helicopter and the car part and a whole car. Okay, so you guys are also showcasing the Metro Y. Yeah. And what is special about the Metro Y? Metro Y is absolutely a wireless 3D scanner and uh, it can be used in industrial grade for reverse engineering and also 
you know, industrial inspection. So I did a little digging after TCT and what I found is that when she says industrial, what she means is the Metro Y is a meteorology grade 3D scanner. There's no way that I'm going to get this right without looking at my notes, but essentially this means that you have precision up to 0.01 millimeters, you have accuracy up to 0.02 millimeters, and you have volumetric accuracy up to 0.025 millimeters. So while I was at TCT, I was told that the Metro Y on display was a beta 3D scanner. However, the results were astonishing, they were very good. And when I came home, what I was told was that all the bugs and kinks were already worked out. So I also had a few more personal questions to ask them about how they handle their customer relations and customer requests. So one of the amazing things about RevaPoint that I have personally noticed is that when users request certain software yeah. upgrades, it seems like you guys always integrate them. So how has user feedback influenced your software direction? So we are customer focused company now we always value the feedback from our customers and um, we may know that sometimes some entry levels customers may, may, some, may be a little bit frustrated by scanning but start using it. But actually we have a one-to-one -one tutorial and actually we have 24-7. Hour uh, support? Yeah, hour support to meet your demand and solve your problem. And from the software, we always upgrade based on the feedback from the customers. So what might be surprising is that I have personally been a RevaPoint user all the way since the Pop Tube. I was an original backer of the Pop Tube on Kickstarter and I have seen how RevaPoint handles and prioritizes user feedback and user requests. I know sometimes you may miss the, uh, the, math, the, the issue like the, stick, the stitching errors caused by the tracking loose. So we upgrade our software with the keyframe editing. So okay. you may delete the, the faults, the, the key fees you don't want to fuse in the, the process. So you can so that you can get a complete model as you want. For example, a lot of users wanted an undo button so they could undo poorly scanned or poorly tracked frames without having to go back and redo a scan from scratch. What do you know? RevaPoint introduced that in one of their future updates. So it sounds like you're saying when a user is, provides feedback on like the Facebook groups or yeah. some forums, if it's feedback yeah. that's positive and, yeah. will, and will put the software in a positive direction, yeah. RevaPoint really values that because yeah. the users that yeah. are purchasing RevaPoint scanners, mm -hmm. they're the users that <laughs> actually drive yeah. your company, right? So RevaPoint takes business seriously. They take their users' wishes and users' requests seriously. They take the bull by the horns and they tackle what their users want because if their users stop using RevelPoint scanners and they start using a different brand scanners, what is the company when they don't have customers or users? So to me, it sounds like if you purchase a scanner, the software will grow with the scanner for many years to come. Yeah, yeah, because we develop all our technology ourselves. So we like the optical chip and we the light projector and also the software. So that allowed us to enable to innovate more quickly. This, the hardware and software pair well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you develop all the hardware and all the software, you yeah. know what's efficient. Yeah, we can make uh, specific uh, modifications about for every component based on our feedback from our customers. One more thing, and this is really important as well. So, RevaPoint software, RevaPoint Studio is really good. Mm -hmm. If a user buys a scanner today, yeah. a lot of them want to know if that software is going to still be free in the future. Yeah, I I can promise you guys that the RevaScan software is absolutely free of charge for a lifetime if you got that was free to scan it. Awesome. Yeah, that awesome. is really good to hear. <laughs> yeah, that is yeah, awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, that was RevaPoint over at TCT Shenzhen 2025. I have always liked this brand. However, seeing them at the booth, seeing everything they're showcasing, it just continues to prove to me that RevaPoint is shining and it's a testament to why they deserve everyone's business and everyone's attention. But in the comment section down below, let me know if you have any questions and do be sure to check the links in the description as well because there's a lot of helpful information for you to find about all of the latest RevaPoint scanners. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.